on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the worst, how would you describe the pain? Probably an eight. As far as my general activity, well, the pain makes it hard to get the job done at work. We can try an opioid at a low dose, but it's very important to understand the risks. Everything from uh, constipation to addiction and overdose, even fatal overdose. When opioids are used, they work better when they're used with other treatments like exercise. Well, I wanna check back in three weeks and see if you're meeting your goals for pain and function. How are you doing? Pretty good. <laughs> I can even pick up my eldest granddaughter now. Doctor, thanks for seeing me. I think I need to fill my medication early. Sometimes it can be difficult controlling how much medication you're taking for pain. So let's talk about medication and lifestyle changes to help you meet your treatment goals. Every patient is different, but opioids pose risk to all patients. The evidence against long-term use of opioids for chronic pain is mounting. Continued use, especially at high dosages, is associated with serious risks. Before prescribing, thoroughly assess whether benefits for pain and function outweigh potential risks. Consider non-opioid medications like acetaminophen, ibuprofen, or certain antidepressants or anticonvulsants, and non-pharmacologic therapies like physical therapy, low-cost relaxation or coping strategies, or regular exercise. If you do prescribe opioids, always prescribe the lowest effective dosage. Daily dosages greater or equal to 50 morphine milligram equivalents or MMEs can double the risk of overdose compared to 20. And the higher the dosage, the higher the risk for addiction, overdose, or death. If increasing dosages, exercise caution and increase follow-up to reduce the risk. Reevaluate frequently for changes in pain, function, and mental well-being, including signs of addiction. 